Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today's March 7th and my yard you can see is filled with snow. I should have uh, clear ground right now. I should be able to put a couple of things into my garden beds, certainly have things in containers, have all my transplants out here, but because of the unseasonable cold, we broke a lot of records with eight degree nights. Um, you can see my greenhouse is up for the greens that I grew over the winter, but I haven't even been able to get in there because it was covered in ice and snow. I took off the layer of snow, underneath this is ice, and I want to show you today in this video how I'm going to take care of it. And basically, you can hook a garden hose up, I just had to buy a new hose, so it was perfect for this video, is you can take a hose, hook it up to your kitchen faucet, and then you can run hot water out there, and I'm going to just spray everything down and de-ice it. The trick really is to take the tip of the year faucet off. It comes off pretty easy with a pair of pliers. I didn't know if this was a male or female uh, tip on here. So when you go to Home Depot, you want to just buy an adapter. And it says garden hose, aerator adapter. And the key is right down at the bottom, it says in green. Male, female connects to male hose. And if you read this, it says connects female garden hose to male or female faucet. So you just want to make sure you get a male or female connector that goes to your faucet. This way it will fit 100%. Whatever the other end is, if it's uh, male, you can use one side of the hose. If it's female, you can use the other side of the hose. So I'm going to show you uh, the process and just basically how to take back the garden deck. Because when you look out here, there's my uh, sweet potato that I'm trying to grow some slips from. You can see the yard is covered in snow, that's not going to really defrost, so to speak, for at least another week, and my deck is totally covered. i got to get these transplants out there. So here's the process. The hose is hooked up, hot water is coming out, and I'm just going to work, you know, the spray onto the ice. I've been doing this maybe five minutes, and it's working really nicely. I don't have to get rid of all of it. I just need to break it up enough that I can gently put a uh, plastic shovel through there. Obviously, I didn't want to use salt on my deck because I don't want the salt getting into the garden. So I'm going to spend maybe the next two hours really just melting away. And then it's snow. in. When I was showing the video before, the hose was king. So the jet of water coming out is a little bit stronger. But you want to get really about six inches away from the snow and just sweep back and forth. And it's starting to work. Here's the... Uh, greens there survived and I think with the spring weather coming they'll uh, come back some of them they're all going to get moved out of there what happened with these is I had a uh, canvas over them and the ice storm came froze the canvas over them I couldn't get them out so they were actually in dark for four days but you know not too bad but it looks like I'll be able to take the ice off Here's this the finished deck after about 90 minutes worth of work the hose and hot water worked really really well I'm going to basically be taking out these greens that I grew over the winter in there and they're going to go out onto the deck in different places into that four tier mini greenhouse over there. The uh, kales and other cool weather vegetables are going to go right into that spot where I can keep them warm at night. Even though they can take a frost, I want them to go into my system right here where the temperatures won't get below 32 degrees because of the uh, aquarium water heaters that I've set up in there. But it looks pretty good. Tomorrow I'm going to do a lot of work. I'll do a couple of videos. I want to show you the four-tier greenhouse. I'll do a separate video on it. But to get this set up for spring gardening, why it's going to get cold at night, you really want to get some bubble wrap and seal up the bottom. Let me grab this. It blew away. You can get bubble wrap anywhere, really. You can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, Staples. You can order it online. That's where I get mine. This is 12 inches wide. You need to do three strips, but I just seal them across with, with duct tape. And you can see down in here, I did three rows and basically sealed the bottom right under here. And what that'll do is that'll keep the cold air from coming up and getting in here. So if you're gonna do peppers or tomatoes or warm weather crops, or you just don't want the inside to get as cold as the outs outdoor night temperatures, definitely put the bubble wrap in. And you make it long enough that you can bring it up the side, just tape it down. You don't need anything fancy. But this will really stop the cool air from rushing up underneath the bottom. So finally, I've claimed the deck back on uh, March 7th. 
as you've seen throughout this video, just tons of snow. So I'm going to go set this all up for tomorrow, do some videos and show you everything that I'm bringing up. Your containers are going to be frozen, so fill them up with hot water and just you can pretty much see that the water's sitting on top. That's because it's frozen. If you do this for a couple of days, they will defrost, defreeze much more quickly than waiting for Mother Nature to come. I have some more right over here. This way, I'll do this, you know, probably the next three, four, five days. They will be ready to take the uh, pea transplants, but if I left it to nature, it's going to take seven, ten days longer for just warm rain to come. Please check out my blog again, www.theriskgardenofblackspot.com, and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.